everybody. Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce. It is Style and Culture Friday here on the show. And of course, uh, right now I want to introduce my next guest. She goes by the name Ruby Amondi and she's a fashion designer and the founder of Style to Ruby. Karibu sana to the show. It's good thank to you have you much, here. Yeah, thank yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. Um, and uh, we want to talk about beautiful African designs that you should have in your closet. Okay. And so, you know, when it comes to fashion, a lot of times we tend to feel really excited with you about sharing some of the latest tips, latest designs that you guys can look out for, particularly where African fashion is concerned, because we need to be proud of our heritage. Okay. Um, and Africa, of course, one of the leading continents that has been coming out with some of the best and most beautiful styles that we're seeing even celebrities across the world embracing. And so, you know, a lot of times we say that African fashion is really hard to define. Do you agree yes. with that statement? It's not hard to define. I think we are just trying to decolonize our minds. You mm. know, for a long time, we, we, we've preferred imported outfits. Um, Tumba, if you may. So we are trying to make people understand that Africa is beautiful. We have beautiful prints. I am yet to see any fabric that is, that is as beautiful as Kitenge. We have all colors of prints. Right. That's the beauty of Kitenge. So your business, do you mostly just deal then with African fabrics, Kitenges? Not really. Mm -hmm. right, right now it's not fully African. Mm -hmm. I'll say African inspired. African inspired. Yes. Can we see your outfit? Can you model your outfit? Just stand, just stand. Uh, yeah, just, just standing. Stand. I yeah, can stand. Just stand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. This is like a jumpsuit. Yeah, it is a jumpsuit. Mm -hmm. um, it's a long story. But I'll make it short. Okay. I support Chelsea. <laughs> so <laughs> you gotta love when a fashion story starts with I support Chelsea. Yeah, I love Chelsea. So I'm Team Blue. One of those days we were going to win. I just felt it. So I turned up in this wonderful outfit. But because I'm African inspired, I had to put some kitenge on it. You're you're serious, aren't you? You're like a diehard fan then. Yes. Oh yes, my yes. gosh. Okay, and we won. Cool. We won. <laughs> Well, congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, um, I know you have some models and I'm going to be calling them out um, very shortly. Yeah. Uh, we're going to be telling us our first look. And actually, let's, let's start ahead with our first look. So here we have our first model. Come on in. There she goes with her look. Uh, we see this dress here. Um, so tell me about this look. This look, I'd say... Kitenge is not for boring people. Kitenge is not just for choirs, though I love music. I know you love music. Uh, yeah. So there's nothing against choirs. <laughs> but people think Kitenge is for just choirs. So this <laughs> is one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So this means Kitenge can be very, very stylish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I hope I'm allowed to say sexy. <laughs> yeah, okay. So where would yeah. someone wear this? Um, you go out with it. You can go for a cocktail. You can go for a date. It's something fancy. It's not something you'll, you'll wear when you're doing your household cause. Of mm -hmm. course, yeah. Okay. Um, so maybe you can just give us a twirl and then we can see. So obviously it has this, um, what do you call this, like a fold over slit at the front. Um, she's worn it with some white pumps. We can see. And then it has some cut out detail on the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, explain the design then again. Um, you know, a lot of people would be conscious about their body types and fitting into yeah, an outfit um, like this. The beauty of Kitenga is that f f for some reason it, it doesn't, it flatters your figure while hiding those areas that you, you don't want to be seen. Mm -hmm. And like, let me say stretch fabric, stretch fabric, you know, it might show those areas that you, you actually want to hide. So that is the beauty of Kitenga. It's very, very safe for all body types. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, let's, uh, we're going to get ready to call on our next model. So Asante. Um, Okay, so the thing with African fabrics, though, you know, it's very vibrant, lots of different prints, lots of different yeah. colors. Yeah. Is there like a rule of thumb as far as, you know, how to mix and match fabrics? We used to play safe. We, we'd say like, for, for instance, if you're wearing red printed fabric, your shoes will be red. But nowadays we can actually color block. You can actually match a different print with a different print at the bottom and it's okay. Mm -hmm. There are no rules to fashion. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's call in our second model then today. Uh, here we have another outfit, this one worn with some jeans. Uh, tell us about this look. Fancy, someone who loves going out, someone who is fun, someone who is daring. It's for a bold woman. Mm -hmm. And of course it's for the younger generation. 
or you, you won't expect your mom, for example, to, to, you know, to wear this. So I'd say it's the, the target audience for this. It's a kimono, by the way. Okay. It, it's for the younger people who are vibrant and are outgoing and all that. Okay. Yeah. And they, where would they wear this outfit? When they're going out, when they're going out with your friends, when you're going to the mall, when, when you, you know, you can wear it when you're going to have fun with people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you can give us a twirl so that we can see the back. Go ahead. So there it is, quite long. And here again, like the prints, it's a pretty bold print, a pretty large print, um, oh. but you've tapered it down with, I guess, just wearing jeans and, you know, throwing on some pumps. Um Yeah, for this, I'd say you need to be well toned. Yeah, of, of course, if you, you're still doing your sit-ups and you've not reached your target, you might not wear this because, of course, it, it doesn't <laughs> cover the navel. Yeah. Right, but there's ways you could adapt the outfit so it doesn't have to be a crop top. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. It, it doesn't have to be a crop top. So whatever body shape you are, yes. you're still good, okay? <laughs> and the larger the print, uh, uh, if you're bigger in size, uh, let me say thicker, you should actually go for smaller prints. Mm -hmm. Actually, there's a rule. Yes, you should go for smaller prints. Like how she's petite, if she wears this, she looks okay. If I wear this, I think I'll even look bigger. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So something to keep in mind then, what sort of prints are flattering for your body and especially where the prints are placed too yes. really yes. does matter. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, you can exit. Um, so, you know, when it comes to accessorizing, when you have African fabrics, um, is there sort of a rule of thumb as well? Should you sort of keep your accessories to the down low because yes. the prints are already so loud and speaking um, so loudly? First of all, you, you can get attention without necessarily trying to hard. You already have the loud prints. You don't have to have all this jewelry on you. You just keep it to the down low. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, you guys can send in your feedback and your comments to double two triple nine. Let me know if uh, you like any of the designs that you've seen so far. Is there any particular one that you would rock and wear? I'd love to hear from you. Double two triple nine. Once again, is the SMS line, and you can also reach me on social media at Switch TV KE on Instagram and at Switch TV Kenya on Facebook and Twitter. And um, now, when it comes to gentlemen, you know, a lot of the times uh, Kenyan dudes, it, it seems to me, are very um, shy or skeptical almost about wearing african prints i think mostly because we've seen them like it's just that karura show top yeah. <laughs> uh that yeah. uh, it's like when you yeah as you're saying i think especially for men african fabric <laughs> yes <laughs> so um what are some of the ways that you know you can sort of begin encouraging men to adopt um in wearing more african fabric I actually do, I think, more male outfits than female. If, if really? you check my page, yeah, Style by Ruby page on social media. Um, I do more male outfits because I want men to embrace fashion. There are very few male designers, by the way, because men, it's just a, a top and a trouser. It's, it's very difficult to play around with, with male designs. Mm. So I'm trying to demystify that. It's actually possible to have some very, very fancy male designs. And then people are very skeptical about men who have kitenge top. They told you, if you're approached by a guy who has a kitenge top, just know there's a lady somewhere with a matching dress. Guy? <laughs> yes. Hey, people are yes. savage. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. let's see how you're actually <laughs> trying to fix this, okay? Let's see yeah. if she's actually styling up the gentleman. Uh, there's a gentleman here, a gentleman model who's going to walk in right now. All right. <laughs> Uh, and he has, a, this is pretty cool. Oh, it's a whole suit. That's actually pretty cool. I would wear this though. <laughs> is this only for guys? No, it's, it's unisex. I would wear you this can. with my sneakers. You should. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, so tell me about this look. This is a snooty. It, it, it's, it's, it's raining. I didn't want to come with all the suits. So we have something for the cold. Yeah. You, you don't have to be drab because it's cold. You can actually be very, very fancy. Yeah. So we actually make very fancy snooties for the cold. Okay. Yeah. It's super cool though. I mean, it's nice to see African male attire in like a more casual, yeah. like more laid. I don't think I've seen that before because I'll haven't. either see it okay. in like a, yeah. you know, like a suit. And nothing wrong with the other designs because there's a lot of guys also doing very interesting things. Eh, Jameni Navratu. Can we see your shoes? Can you like lift up your leg? Just lift up your leg. Look. Eh. <laughs> He's not playing. Those look like <laughs> weapons. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but it's a cool look, and I'm sure it's very comfortable. Um, you know, even for him to wear. Um, yeah. So, is this the most the type of outfit that you're now designing, or when you say when you're designing a lot for men, it's also suits and whatnot? Actually, if you check my page, I'm designing mostly embroidered outfits that you can wear for Russians. Okay. It's just that it's ah, cold. So you're yeah, knocking on Russians, and you're still designing <laughs> for them. <laughs> no. I know you're securing the bag, my friend. I am. <laughs> um, it's cold. So I'm, I'm seeing people wearing very funny things out there because it's cold. You don't have to look dry because it's cold. So this is one of them that call me. You, we need to fix this. All you know? right. Yeah. Well, thank you. And there's there's some lettering on the front. What That's is his name? Mean? That's, oh, yes, your name. Yeah. How do you say it? Ask him. <laughs> he doesn't have a mic. <laughs> Ongde. Ongde. <laughs> So you can actually get this customized. Maybe can you we, turn we that? We need a Joyce kind of snooty. <laughs> There's. Let's see the lettering on the front. Oopsie, you might have gone too much. I mean, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so I could actually get my name on this. Yes. Although I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, no. But that's really cool. That's okay. really cool. Mm. All right. Well, thank you very much, Ongde. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, I'd really love to know what you guys think about these designs. Double two triple nine is the SMS line. Now let's talk about price, okay? okay. Because um, with a lot of designers, when they're really customizing things, I know in Kenya, it's in some regard, it's been cheaper to have your clothes stitched. But I think as more designers become more savvy and creative with the sort of outfits and the fabrics and how they layer their prints and whatnot, also the price point can begin to. Uh, escalate so you know what can someone expect to pay what's the range of your outfits at least for um, the ones that we've three seen five for dresses and sorry th three thousand five hundred for dresses and uh and three thousand five hundred and four thousand for suits that is embroidered suits mm -hmm. but official suits that you can wear to work they start from six thousand mm -hmm. that's how affordable i am and okay. that's my fabric can you imagine Okay. Oh, that's yeah. including your fabric. Yes. Okay, that's not bad. I know. Uh, someone here says, I like the second design. Another person says, the second look is awesome. That was the kimono um, look. And then someone else was asking, hey, Joyce, loving the show. Please ask the designer if I can get African wear for a woman who is expecting. That's Aquilin watching us from Kangundo. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah, you can you can get something for someone who's expecting. And the beauty of it is that nowadays I make something that you can even wear after after your your pregnancy okay yes okay yeah. so th that's the thing though because fashion it, it's not about a body type it's not about a size yeah like yeah. you can yeah. just complement your features dress for your body type yes very and beautiful you can rock maxi anything dresses. you want to basically yes 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 yeah, if you just put a little bit of effort into how it's how it's done yeah Okay. Yes. Well, thank you so much for coming through to the show and sharing your designs with us. Again, let us know how people can uh, reach out to you and check out your work. Um, you can reach me on social media. Just check Style by Ruby. Ruby is R-U-B-Y. And uh, I'm not very active on IG, uh, but I'm very active on Facebook. Just check Style by Ruby. You'll get all my details. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Ruby Amondi is her name. Again, the founder of Style to Ruby. And we've been talking about some African designs. So hopefully you guys have seen, you know, a, an idea or two that you can pick up for your next event or your next girls hangout or even just a casual weekend with your buddies. With that said, we're going to take a short break now as we get ready for our final segment for the day. She is a gospel musician, a minister. Uh, she's married and she blogs and talks a lot about her husband her name is rebecca don and she's in studio getting ready to come up next this is full circle with joyce stay tuned